Hello, I am the YouTuber with no name. Monster Bound here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 20 of my Heinrich Kemmler campaign. Of course, every 10 episodes, assuming I have the time, the energy, a small Belgian man named Guan at my side and five litres of tea, it's an extravaganza. What does that mean? I hear you cry. Why? An hour-long episode. That's right, the excitement, the exact same level as watching two Monster Bound episodes back to back. If you've not already literally wet yourself in excitement, fear, or a mixture of the both, then get those currently bone-dry trousers ready for a dousing. Talking of bones, we've got a lot of undead, because of course we're playing as a necromancer. Ah, that's a link. Nice little segue there. I mean, last episode I spent a lot of time bitching about this guy, and to be honest, I stand by my bitching, because this guy's a dick. He's not quite car level, but he's still pissing me right off. So we're going to deal with him. I'm hoping he goes after Wiseman, because if he does, I should be able to get Heinrich to go and butcher his face off, which is my plan. And we've currently got eight blood blood smooches, which is good. And we fought a skull battle over here, although it was, um, yeah, th those, those depth guards, they sure are choppy, aren't they? Very choppy, very, ve very, very choppy. So we, we need a new army. So we're going to get that. We did get 20k, which was nice. And uh, our necromancers are currently split up across Ulth 1, doing bad deeds to good people, probably. Allegedly. Uh, let's repair Karaburg. It's probably going to be alright. End turn! So Father Jack's moving to reinforce our undefended settlements. Because these dickheads are giving me nothing but jip. And as soon as we've dealt with them, I'm heading right over to Middenheim, and I'm capturing that. That's then mine. Uh, Hexotl have declared war on Clan Rictus and Cult of Pleasure. Is that a problem? No, that's fine. To be honest, they can do a... It's fine. We're not going in that direction. That's absolutely fine. What we are going to be doing is, as soon as we secured Middenheim, is we're going to get Kemmler and Stuart, and we're going to head south to the deserts of Nehekara to capture the Black Pyramid of Nagash. So that's going to be my final victory city. And uh, then we should have some, some building to do. So that's that's the plan so far. Whether that, The problem with my plans, they always sound very good and very quickly end up falling apart quite horrendously. And then I end up some, some, something, something completely different. So that's my current plan. I have no doubt that that plan is going to alter during the course of the campaign. It... Ah! Hello, Alden Brand, Ludenhoff. Seems you seems you're trying to attack Wiseman. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, Heinrich is here as well, along with a no-nose vampire, Eugene. Apparently, I don't know who he is, but Kemmler's here. Unfortunately for these guys, Kemmler's here. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. So this small little battered force led by Ludenhoff is marching right to their demise. And you know what? I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even bother with infantry. We're just gonna hit them with with our ghosties. So we've got the chill geists. They're like, like Hex Wraith, but colder. And the Gloom Horse Lords here, of course, are elite units with us from the, since the start. Look at that, 35 melee attack. Oh, so good. They got the, yeah, they got flaming attacks as well. <gasps> We've got fire and ice. They have ice attack. Well, they've got ice aura. These guys have got fire attacks. Fire and ice. There you go. And the Empire Army isn't quite sure what to do. I don't blame them. We're not quite sure which way to run. Yes. Also, having a bigger army. That's also key. In fact, I'd say that's probably more important than discipline at this point. So we're just going to, you know, charge. 
<laughs> the missile units are immediately going to start to run away. Going to get a good old charge here. Send these guys flying, flanking around. We've got the VAR guys coming from rear. Varex Reavers move in. A little bit surrounded there, but we've got Khan Race coming in the flank as well. Chasing off some of those missile units. In come the VAR guys to chase off the rest of the missile units. And although we're fighting Halberdiers, uh, this is very much... And yeah, yeah, and, and Chilfroy has, has completely murdered the enemy lord as well. And of course, with their lord dead, they're now going to start to try and run away. Unfortunately, that's not going to be very easy for them. Oh, you spent a long time running, boys. No more running for you. No, we won't. Got all those Khan racers bobbing up and down. So just taking the army apart piece by piece, healing up a little bit, just because, you know, fighting halberdiers front on isn't generally the best option. But uh, frankly, at this point, I I didn't really care. The bar guy's coming back. Oh, lovely stuff. Some flying all over the place. And of course, the Devil's Schwartz half, and they have the, the Sundering attack. So these guys now have reduced magical resistance. And of course, all these units deal magical damage. So that's fun for them. Ah, oh, that felt good. I felt, I felt like getting something off my chest. That was good. Well, that felt pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, that, that felt that felt good. Okay, let's kill all them. He's going to run away, but he can't get far enough away. Uh, we've got a night shroud, which is good. I guess that guy's going to run away. Okay, now we can link up with Stuart and head over and deal with Middenheim. Go on then, speak your words. But don't be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Military alliance. Um, no, because again, with, with Malekith, I don't really want to upset Malekith more. I, I don't want to give Malekith a reason to decide to invade me. Basically, that's my thinking. That's my thinking. Okay, so. Yes, Bernard. It really does. But, let's... Uh, father... Bats and wolves. Jack. Does this... It, apparently this, this increases the rank of Graveguard. Now, I didn't realise that. But I think if we come over here, we can recruit some great. Yes, we can. Oh my god, it does. They're rank 8. Holy shit. Yes. Alright, we'll grab some of them. Grab some of those bad boys. And we are also go. I quite like the Khan Wraith. So let's get some Khan Wraiths. And I guess let's get a Vargolf. Problem with the Vargolf is its leadership is so bad. I will along. But we will do that. I just. Okay, we're getting some buildings there that's going to give us money. Nothing there, nothing there. Do you want to upgrade this? Oh, I could get more pots. A screeching kilns. Perhaps there's some spirit trapped within, burning in abject agony every time a kilns are lit. Is that required? Or could we not get rid of it? Could we not build a... It, it, it feels like that is not a good working condition. I mean, kilns already very hot. To then add screeching to it, I mean, that's just a health and safety nightmare surely Do you need fresh I don't know who's running these places it's horrendous okay no one there where's Tyrion gone Tyrion where are you oh there you are yeah we'll, we'll get right on that uh, you are exhausted we can't steal technology okay come over here come over here where did we have... Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? Um, okay, let's knock that down. 
Where did... Oh, I had it here. Let's get the abysmal wood, because I would like the option of... Oh, I should really build it here, shouldn't I? Because we got the wood pile. That does increase the recruit rank. Not that recruit rank's really that useful for Gavargeist. For, like, Graveguard it is, because Graveguard don't generally kill a lot of units. They're basically there to be... Just to hold the line. Whereas... Vargeists kill a lot of shit. So having them at this rank is great. So we're definitely going to do that. I mean, Heinrich's army, for when he, he heads into the Southlands, he's going to want something really tanky. So I think we're going to give him full Graveguard armies. That's what we're going to do there. Right. Now, Stuart, you've been chasing this dickhead for miles. So you're going to get the... The victory. There we go. It's not the same guy, but that's not the point. Okay, onwards. Can we reach Middenheim in one? No, we can't. Okay, well, we're going to want to knock those walls down anyway. Number six is going to not wound that guy because we don't have enough money, apparently. So we're going to save our pennies. Agent 47, though, has ranked up. So we're going to give him Arcane Conduit. Perfect. So now we've got two Arcane Conduits in our army. That makes it very magical, he very magically heavy, which is great. A uh, cattle herder gained one additional Sylvanian crossbowman. Benevolent Overlord. Hmm. Or Fell Nest. I mean, I would like Brooding Horrors. Because upkeep for Vargais, we could have quite a few Vargais in this army. But let's get Cattle Herder so we can have more Sylvanian crossbowmen. So let's get rid of... I'm tempted to get rid of one of the Black Knights. We've already got... So yeah, so let's do that. Oh, we have insufficient funds. That's fine, we can get, we can get it next time. So let's do that. Number six, you're not doing anything because we don't have enough money, so we're just going to end the turn. I should really take you off your cart, but I kind of feel like you've earned it, so I'm going to keep you on the cart. For no other reason than... Careful now. To summon me is all but an invitation to oh, hello, Marathi. Hello, my dear. How are you? You want to try... Oh, bloody hell, yeah, I have a trade agreement with you. I'll have a trade agreement with the lovely Marathi. Why is it some... I mean, why is it when you're playing evil races, sometimes it feels like it's a, so much easier to get trade agreements with evil races? Maybe because no one ever trades with them, so they're quite sort of... When they can get someone to trade with, they're like, brilliant, trade! Whereas when you're a good guy, all the races are a bit hoity-toity. Okay, it looks like our little vampy friends are clearing up What's this? Is that, oh, it's Peak Pass. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get Father Jack to recruit us a, a swarm of Grave Guard. We're going to take Middenheim. Oh, Boris. Screw it. I'm going to take Middenheim, and then I'll worry about Boris. Maybe Father Jack... Well, maybe we can get Boris to go and hunt him down. Hmm. Maybe we can get Boris. Okay, so... Bernard, you're coming over here. Father Jack, we're going to... Well, these guys don't actually cost anything, so it doesn't really matter. Let's do something like that. Can we reach Middenheim? I think we can. Okay, we have damaged the walls. Excellent. That's going to help. Uh, we do have some guys hanging around here. Can we wound them? No, failed. All right, well, I need the only problem being that Boris can probably reach us in one turn. 
Oh, I don't think we can. Okay, well, let's move up. We're going to ignore Boris. Going to move up there. Let's do some more light raiding. Very good. Why is... Yeah, I I think Gorsal's going to get smashed again. So, you know, I'm not going to build anything up. And can we recruit? We can only recruit garbage. Fine. Darkness comes. Okay. I mean, rank 8 Grave Guard is, is pretty, pretty good. I didn't realise that I counted. I thought it was just Skellingtons and Zombles. I will not it didn't feel that good, but holy crap. Unicorn, you're going to come over here. Who's got the Sword of Cain? Very well. Whoever this guy is. As you say. But he doesn't have the Sword of Cain. It just looked like he had the Sword of Cain. Who shall we destroy? Where's Tyrion gone to? Tyrion! Ty Tyrion! Where you Follow me. Will you stop running away, Tyrion? I need to kill some of the people you're marching around with. Damn it, Tyrion. Vampiric corruption in all provinces. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, don't have funds. Okay. We could maybe do this. Because income from trade. We're getting quite a lot of money from trade, aren't we? Let's have a check. So we're getting 2k. So that's another... So that's 500. I think that... I think this will pay for itself. And then some. So let's do that. Let's do that. Because we're trading with a whole bunch of people. So they're all going to get vampiric corruption. I mean... It's, it's not really that use. I don't really understand the idea. Of what, why would you want to give people you're trading with vampiric corruption? I mean, if you're trading with them, you're probably not going to be invading them. And if you're bored of them, you're probably at war with them anyway. So they're probably like trading with the, the Norskans and the Marathis of the world. In which case, it's literally just giving them some vampiric corruption to deal with for a little while for no fucking reason. But, you know, far be it from me to complain. So, except that I just did. So we're just getting a little bit more cash. So that's good. So hopefully that should come in. And uh, what do we want to do? Uh, yeah, well, I could... Up How is the public order here? It's actually not too bad. Public order. Let's, let's check public order everywhere. How are we doing? Okay, the wasteland is going down, but that's because Gorsal got sacked in this place because um, the public uh, because vampiric corruption isn't very good. But otherwise, we're actually doing quite well. Look at that. Uh, Northern Grey Mountains bring in the most money, but that's not a massive surprise because we've got the Castle Drakenfell's library there. As well as a vampire crypt and a forbidden library. So that's bringing in a lot of cash. So what I would... I need, if I can deal with Boris and take Middenheim and then secure the... I mean, if we can just... Well, you know what? I mean, taking this gold mine would be useful. Are they at war? Yeah, they'll probably take the gold mine before I get there. But I, 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 I can't... No, I need, need to do the expedition. Need to go on the expedition. Need to get the Black Pyramid. That's the plan. Okay, so we don't worry about that. I keep getting distracted. I'm like a I'm like a toddler. Everything's shiny to me. I need to stick on my plan. I need to write my plan down. Ten point action plan for world domination. Although frankly, world domination seems like a lot of work, so pr probably won't do. I said I was talking about this on, my, on, on the stream, but basically I don't see the point of world domination. It seems like a lot of work. It's a lot of admin. It'd be a big project to conquer the world first off, and then you'd need to keep it conquered, which that's a full-time job. You wouldn't get a holiday, would you? You would never get time to put your feet up. It would constantly be one problem or another, one slave uprising. Oh look, there's another black tower that's been kicked over. Oh, some orcs got killed by the chosen one again. And oh, it just be a, oh, it's so so tedious. I am always open to furthering the course of unlikely. Just open a B and B or something. Basically the same thing. Hello, man, Fred. You want a military alliance? Um. Oh, all right. An offer you won't regret. I doubt that. I doubt that a lot. No, Vlad. That's my city. I swear, Vlad. Okay, those guys are beating each other up. That's no... Well, it's a bit annoying. I mean... 
Salt Spike is is trying the same tactic again and again and again, and it's it's really not it's really not working. The Emperor's mewling entreaties are as insufferable as the cries of a newborn child, and as easily choked off. Well, we did kill Carl, so uh, you have your tally of corpses. The war must end. No, it mustn't. I've still got plenty of people I need to kill. You included. Ah, you're running back to Middenheim. Perfect. That's exactly where I wanted you. In fact, we've got a military alliance with Vlad, so Vlad will come and help us against Middenheim as well, which I'm kind of thinking maybe we just go for it. Maybe we just go, throw caution to the wind, and just attack the city straight on. I mean, if we can take out the walls, that's even better, but I'm, I'll kind of just go for it. Uh, the Cult of Pleasure has confederated with Clar Coron. Does that mean the Cult of Pleasure still exists? I think so. Savage Blow. Okay, we've got more charge bonus. Fine. So, yeah, they've, they've confederated with Clar Coron. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Can we trade with anyone else? Anyone else who likes us? Caron Car? No. Uh, no, basically. No one else likes us enough. It's a shame. That's a shame. Still... Oh, Isabella's there. Hi, Isabella. Right, Heinrich. Let's give you... I'm tempted by Lord of the Scourge, because that sounds that seems quite nice. But evil, I think we'll go for Evil Souls, because that's going to buff up. Uh, so let's have a look at our, our, our Gloom Horse Lords. Have 37 melee attack, 41 weapon strength, 54 charge bonus. I mean, that's, that's pretty deadly. So if we attack the city, will Isabella come and help? No. Okay, let's break for siege. We do have a military alliance with you, don't we? Yeah. Is it because you're marching? Or are you not at war with them? Ah. Join my war against Middenland. Please. Alright, fuck it. I'm not... I'm not that desperate. Who shall we destroy? Where's... There's the Fae Enchantress. Damage the walls. Fae... Oh no, success. It usually... Usually, whenever I am... Um, whenever I need them to actually take out some walls, they inevitably fail. But no, seven breaches. Look at that. Okay, let's continue the siege. Continue the siege. And we will move Stuart up to assist... Get Stuart up here. Okay. So do have some mortars. They've got a Hellstorm rocket battery and a lot of gunners and great swords, but Fuck it, we'll just throw on dead people at them until they die themselves. As we trample this, I guess, like a little market or something. I guess market day's over. So Camus Forza is advancing on the city wall, the portion of the city, which is, is very badly damaged because he's lots of wall breaches there. And then Stuart's forces heading in to deal with the gate. It's all good. The Vargeists just hanging up above the city. Uh, we do have a unit of handgunners there, but we need to wait until our infantry is engaged to make sure that uh, none of these, like, halberdiers or great swords can start fighting the Vargais, because that would obviously be bad. Bad for us, anyway. So, units coming into the city now, locking down this infantry. There's a little blob at the front here. We've got some knights, some demigriffs, and we've got lots of artillery in the city centre. Fortunately, most of them are hitting the city itself, so that's fun. The Vargais are in, dealing with the handgunners. Stuart's force is coming in, attacking the gates. Going to get a nice little wind of death. It's going to carve through the defenders. And over some demigriffs. But of course demigriffs being large units didn't actually do much damage. So now we're just trying to fight to get into the city. Some crossbows hanging out at the top of that ramp over there. Just shooting down on us. We, we could deal with that. Need to, need to deal with that to be honest. Khan race fighting great swords and 
the uh, Reichsguard. Backed up with the Skellingtons, they should be doing okay. Slowly hacking their way through. We just need to grind them down. There's Krell getting stuck in against some great swords. Nice work, Krell. And then over here, we've managed to smash through the gate with Stuart's forces. And we've thrown some Vargais in to try and help them break through. Because otherwise, it would have taken them ages to just smash through these great swords. But with the, the Vargais here, we should be able to do that a little bit quicker. We've engaged some outriders over here because they were they were shooting at us and then running away. So we decided to show them that's not what you do. That's not very polite. So we're going to smash their face in. But we are getting shot by some handguns over here, which is not ideal. We really need to pull ourselves out of that if we can. Okay, job done here. We've managed to break one of the units of uh, great swords and done off damage. And now the Vargais are needed elsewhere. Because over here we've managed to break through. With the Chillgeist and Gloom Horse Lords, but we're still stuck dealing with these guys. So some Vargeists coming in to help would be really good. The Crypt Horrors are helping as well, of course. That's always. But I just feel like if you want something, you know, completely and utterly turned into, into jam, Vargeists do the work. Yeah, they really have. It's not a good day to be a Halberdier. So, with that little job done, the Vargeists are now going to come over and assist with uh, this little blob as well. You can see, uh, is Chemist? Uh, yeah, there's Krell. There's Krell. He's still fighting. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage. You can see some of these guys have like the... Uh... Oh, there's the Vargeist. Um, have the, the White Wolf sort of headdress because they're the Middenheim great swords, which is really nice. Really like that. Got some blood on your bottom. Let's clean yourself up. Okay, and the Vargais have then crushed the resistance in this area. See, wherever the Vargais are, we just smash through the defenders. But uh, now, we do have some crossbows back here. They've, they've not been doing a lot of damage. We're getting some kills, but not, not an awful lot. There's Boris. There's Toddy. Toddy. He does have magical attacks, which means he's been doing a lot of damage to our our Khan race, which isn't ideal. We've got these units pinned down, though. The Vargeists, are, once they finish with these units over here, are going to come and help out with the artillery. Meanwhile, Stuart's forces are continuing to try and break through. We've engaged this unit of handgunners. And, frankly, they're being a little bit more resistant. Oh, they do have some great swords mixed in as well. That would kind of explain it. We've got a big mass of soldiers trying to break through. Vargeists have broken off from the main gate. As you can see, units at the main gate now broken. We've managed to break the resistance there. That is starting to just cause a chain route. The Vargeists, however, are going to go and deal with the artillery. There are some units of crossbows and handguns. And also a unit of... Is that Reichsguard? Oh, it's just Empire Knights. Units of just Empire Knights. Well, that doesn't matter. So most of the units of our guys are going to land in amongst the Empire Knights and artillery to lock them down. And then a few units just picking off the uh, crossbowmen just to make sure they can't sit back and fire on us. And as you can see, Stuart's forces have finally broken through and they're coming in to assist in the city centre as well. In come the Blood Knights. It's absolute carnage. City Square has been completely overrun. A few units trying to flee back from the walls, but there's nowhere left to run. Oh, just a little solitary Empire Captain there with 295 health just running around. Yep. These guys don't really know where to run. There's a huge horde of undead pouring into the city. They're pretty much screwed, and we're trying to murder Boris, but Boris, old Toddy, is proving to be actually quite tanky. So that's a bit of a problem. But uh, the fact that his entire army has been completely crushed is, of course, going to make life a little bit easier. He is running in terror. We'll get him eventually. Wow, 
That's toddy dealt with. Uh, we didn't actually take too much damage there. That's pretty good. Okay, let's just occupy. I was tempted to sack, but we'll just occupy. We've got Ruby Red Ring of Ruin. That ain't bad. What have you got? Uh, you've got quite commission shallows. Okay, well, that's probably better. It's probably a better, unfortunately. So we'll keep that. Uh, we have that. Do I want that? Not really. Got a forbidden library, though. That's quite nice. Okay, we can we can build that up. I wonder if we can. Don't waste my time with petty talk. I'll ignore that. Oh come on! I mean, it's not like you don't have enough enemies. I mean, one less is probably a good option, isn't it? Surely. Oh well. Right, let's get another one of those. Fill out that. Didn't mean to do that before the battle. Completely forgot. Never mind. Uh, Luon is going to get hard to hit. Find me. And Chilfroy, the reborn, is... What do I like? Devastating charge. Maybe scarred veteran. More health? Yeah. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, Luckstone physical resistance. We could just give... Let's give you the, the talisman of protection. Uh, Charm Shield is okay. I'm thinking maybe we go the Night Shroud because at that point you then have like 77 melee defense. Which is it's going to be hard to get through. Okay, Agent 6. Is there anyone here? Oh, there's some people. 88% chance. Yes, there you go. Nice work. And you've already done your thing. Yep. Okay, up to 11 blood smooches. I thought that would take longer to get that many blood smooches, but look at that. Blood smooches are back. What the hell are you doing over here? The Exiles of Nehek. Do you need fresh troops? Well, I need Tyrion to slow down. Okay, failure. Never mind. Never mind. What about you? Let's try and steal technology here. Success. That's more like it. You've kind of got everything. Go invocation. And then we got you down here. You. Still technology? Failure. Okay. Well, it's not bad. Still got 225% tech. So we're going to get the incantation of, ne of Nagash in two turns, which is very good. It's very nice, very quick. Uh, Montfort is uh, I guess it's quite near to the Wood Elves so let's get defences there because inevitably they are going to declare war at some point probably when I have zero units nearby I'm tempted to just keep recruiting Graveguard okay tell you what We will take these guys. Uh, let's do something like that. Next turn we can get the abysmal wood, so we will recruit some units there. But in the meantime, let's just get some more of those guys, because they're pretty bloody good. We've got a commandment here. We're going to go with tax rate. Is there anywhere else we could use tax rate? Yes, we could use tax rate here. Uh, that's tax rate. Yes. Ah, tax rate. No, that's public order. I want more money. Let's go tax rate. Let's tax rate there. What about here? Uh, yeah, let's get tax rate here. And I, to be honest, I think tax rate here as well. We got it? We got it. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, I might leave... I might leave Father Jack here because inevitably the Wood Elves would declare war on me and also probably Norska. My suspicion is that um, the vampires or Norska might declare war on each other and then I'll have to jump in and join one of them. Um, hmm. I'll definitely join the vampires, I think. So let's have a look at, the, at our victory conditions. The short campaign victory conditions. Right. 
12, yep, tick, destroy, yep, tick. Control eight of the following. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just need one more. We need to maintain 80 units with 73. Construct three necromancers towers. That's the thing that's going to going to happen. We've got three necromancers yet. Ensure two of the following. So we definitely have the Altdorf College of Forbidden Magic in the in the going. And occupy Corone. Easy peasy. We could burn down the Oak of Ages, but I'm gonna be honest. Dealing with the Wood Elves is so much more effort than it needs to be. Because most of their units are skirmishers, you, you need a you need like a specific army to hunt down the fuckers. Because otherwise they just scatter. And you end up fighting mini battles all over the battlefield. And that is the type of battle that really the AI is good at. Because the AI can control all of its units at the same time. You, on the other hand, are just trying to keep everything. It's like trying to spin plates, and it's so not fun. So the reason I don't generally fight the Wood Elves is because it's fucking irritating, to be honest. Literally the only reason. Uh, okay, so number six. We're going to give you Curse of Undeath. Have fun with that. Enjoy. End turn. So yeah, we'll try and stay away from, from the Wood Elves. And I do need to get Kemmler's magic items. So there's two things we need to do. We need to raid Bastone. I think Kemmler needs to do that. I'm well. We can always check, can't we? And I also need some Graveguard. Well, considering recruiting Graveguard anyway to put in Kemmler's army, that's fine. So Stuart and Kemmler are going to have tricked out armies. It's going to be Graveguard, heavy armor, good monstrous units, all the best we can get. And then Bernard and Father Jack are going to defend the homeland with some skeletons or something. And ideally, what I want to do is I want to win the campaign by taking the Pyramid of Nagash. So I need to make sure I've got everything else in place before we do that. Because I can't. I like. To, I like to finish the campaign on a bit of a high. But I think it's going to take us a while to get down to the Southlands, to be honest. It's going to take us a while to get down there. And once we're down there, we obviously have to establish a, a foothold. And that's not going to be easy. Because we need to get that vampiric corruption going. And that was a pain in the ass in Bretonia. It's, it's going to be quite annoying in the Southlands. So ideally, I mean, I think Kemmler should be able to spread vampiric corruption quite quickly now. So I think that should be okay. We just need to take a capital, I think, and then go from there. To be honest, I really should send an agent down there just to scout it out, shouldn't I? That's probably a good idea. Of course, eventually, I'm assuming that Abaddon will turn up. Abaddon? Not Abaddon. Archeon. Same thing. Arch I mean, Abaddon is basically just the Archaeon of Warhammer 40k. Yes, Archaeon will show up with his shiny little red helmet. And uh, probably start smashing stuff. Because that's generally what he does. Bless him. Bless him indeed. Okay, block army could actually come in useful. Can we go and assassinate? Oh, critical success. Nice, and now we've got the 12 blood smooches, we can do this. Still doesn't do anything, kind of freaks me out, but that's fine. Uh, block army, yes. Right, number six, we're going to head south with you. Kemler, we're going to bring you down here. Stuart, we're going to, are you going to suffer attrition? No, you're f oh, of course you're not going to suffer attrition ever again. Amaze balls. Okay, I mean we could maybe do some like sacking around here, do something like that, just sort of get some cash. Middenheim's generally pretty good, so we could probably stay there. Right, Heinrich. Oh, and we did need. Uh, it's, it is raid Bastone, isn't it? Raid the following region. Yes. So let's just try that see what happens it's not going to ha make anyone raiding raiding three nah that's fine we're not going to make any money from that 
but it's generally okay. So, right, Bernard, yeah, you're raiding, so you're not going to do anything. 007. Is Tyrion? Tyrion's buggered off again. Has... I mean, Alariel still has quite a few... T I don't know if... A, is, is, a, is this Lover's Tiff? They're still fighting, and apparently they're giving as good as each other... I mean, that... This little lover's tiff is, is killing hundreds, thousands, millions, maybe. It's horrendous. It's just assault. I don't really know what I want to do with it at the moment, so you can do that. We want to recruit more of these guys. Exactly. Okay, let's see if, let's see if that raiding does that. We're, we're bring Kamala down. Stuart can do some raiding. Do I want to take Bernard instead? Bernard is kind of like the... The, oh, hello. Yes, we did. There we go. It's just completed. Okay. So we've got move a character to the following part, Quarant's Bastone. Kemler sends a scout to the Abbey to see what effect his wicked scheme has had on its denizens. Fair enough. Good next step. Uh, apparently our trade agreement has dissolved. I'm assuming they've lost their port or something. Which is a bit of a shame, but not the end of the world. We've already got character in Bastogne because we were raiding there, so surely that would... That seems like a bit of a... Maybe need an agent there. Excuse the tomb breath. No. Hi, man, Fred. What do you want? A trade agreement. Uh, yeah, all right. I have a trade agreement. Just lost one trade partner. I'm hoping that Norska and the Vampire Counts can play nicely, but it's literally just a matter of time until war is declared, unfortunately. And I'm definitely going to have to side with the vampires, so then we're going to have to defend our northern border. So I'm thinking defences in uh, Marineburg, in Middenheim, in Carone, that kind of area. And if we have defences there, I th I'm fairly happy. I think we should be able to hold off. But I do want to do Kemmler's quest battle. So we're going to work on that before we, we head off on our little expedition. But maybe I'm going to take Bernard instead of Stuart. Maybe Stuart defends the homeland. Maybe we take Bernard with us. Hmm. So incantations of Nagash. That's more income. Excellent. Uh, so, I mean, we've got... Do we not have any agents? We don't have any agents here. So, can we... Oh, I can't recruit anyone. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, we can get a vampire now, can't we? Of course we can. Get Frida. Ready. Let's get Frida. Hmm. Mystify and Miasma, Pendulum, and eventually Pit of Shades. Let us make do. Uh, this I don't like. Onward. Come over here, Kemla. And we can deal with that. Let's see if we can damage these walls. Of course it was a failure. But we can still just auto resolve that and sack it for 6k. I mean, it's not great, but I'll take that 6k. Happy with that. Set up Marineburg to heal up, and Stuart is gonna have. Um, I, yeah, okay, let's get Felness because I would like Brooding Horrors. Because cheaper Vargeists, pretty good. Can't go wrong with that. Shall we get some more necromancers? Oh, in fact, we've got we've got so much cash, we could actually maybe go for the because we hmm. we do need three necromancer towers, so we should probably work on that. So we don't have the growth here yet. We could upgrade that. 
and maybe get some more vampiric corruption. Misguided. Well, I mean, that's your point of view. Ready? I would disagree. I smell dead. Where's Tyrion gone? Follow me. Where's he buggered off to, eh? Honestly, you can't. The guy just can't sit still. He's probably chasing a Lariel all over the place. Your wish, Is that? No, that's not him. And he doesn't have any gut. I'm, I'm sure... Okay, there's Marathi. What do you seek? Or rather, there's one of Marathi's generals. There's Gwendolyn. So it looks like Marathi's crashing the lover's tiff. Hmm. Interesting. So, Bernard, let's... Oh, in fact, what we can do with you, Bernard, is recruit some more... No, we can't. They're too expensive. I wonder if we move you back over here. Yes, I, know. You dare. yes, I do. So I want sort of five grave guards of there. So if we maybe go, just grab one of them. That will make a nice front line. I don't. Th you know what? I don't think I need the. I might actually see if I can get some more Khan Wraiths. I think like four units of Khan Wraiths, four units of, or five units of Graveguard, backed up by the Koningstein Stalkers and the Sternsmen, backed up by all our monsters and stuff, is it's a very strong front line. So let's go with that. And I did want to get the Liber Necromonica, a text of powerful binding in one of the nine books of Nagash. It contains countless rituals to ensnare wrathful spirits, summon ghoulish creatures, and imbue such fell things with dread power. Because we're going to get Soul Binder, Nightmare Shreeping, and I guess Spirit Shackle. I mean, Spirit Shackle is a bit meh because it's only recruit rank, so. I do. So we're going to see if Bernard can get any, summon some more units, and then we can send him off to maybe. Do some more fun stuff. Go and murder half his army on a skull island or something. You know, fun. That's fun, probably. Marathi, Marathi is doing what her son definitely couldn't, which was conquer Ulthuan. Because, you know, despite the fact that the end times law said he was a Phoenix King, that just always seemed like bollocks. He's like, yes, he no, he was the real Phoenix King. He just he just left the flames too early, is what he did. I mean, first off, he murdered everyone in that room before he went to incinerate himself. And second of all, he then went on a brutal campaign of butchering and enslavement after the fact. I mean, it's hardly the kind of benevolent ruler you want, is it? I guess he's an elf, so there's bound to be a little bit of murdering and enslavement, but... Okay, that's secured our northern border. Or mostly, anyway. I just think, if I was a high elf and they went... Oh, by the way, Malekith was actually the Phoenix King all along. I'd probably go, you know what? I, I don't really care what what the gods say, frankly. At this point... I don't think he's going to be a suitable ruler. I just don't... I, I don't think he's... He's all there. I think he might be a little bit mental. And... I, I don't think... That that point needs to be backed up by anything more... Than his centuries of... Genocidal campaign against our kin. So I think maybe we just need to... We just need to overrule the gods on this one. And maybe just not have him as Phoenix King. Because, again, psychotic. 
Ooh, talking of psychotic. Weapon damage plus 20 for all armies. Nice. Stuart. We're kind of, I'm, you know what, Stuart? I think I think we I think we're good. I think we can head south. I mean there's this guy. I'm gonna party with the dead. Be gone. That's alright. Right, now bugger off, don't come back. Where's Kemla? There's Kemla. Okay, Kemla, come over here. We're gonna I'm get Frida. Source heads. Okay, when the following battle with Heinrich Kemmler, a sickly moon hangs low over the foothills of the Grey Mountains, casting a corpse pale light on the plains beyond. The Lich Master stands atop a ridge, wearing an empire ar watching as an empire army emerges from Axebite Pass and marches towards the abbey. Across the plains, a tiny figure of a Bretonian rider can be dimly discerned as he rides frantically along the road from the abbey to the fortress of Montfort. Kemmler's plan has worked even better than he could have hoped. The fools of both blind nations are each at each other's throats thanks to his machinations. As the two forces clash, Kemmler signals for his undead horde to move in for the kill. The abbey will fall, and Lich Master's eyes glitter at the prospect of the power he will unle unleash within its walls. That's going to give us a Skull Staff, which is going to increase our magic item drop chance. Uh, decrease our miscast, increase winds of magic by a lot, melee attack, magic resistance, winds of magic reduction for Van Hal's dance, macabre, uh, increase vampiric corruption, that's going to be very useful, and raise dead cost reduction. Oh, that sounds, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Expand Sylvania's borders. And Frida, we're going to give you some bits and pieces, uh, like that, like that, like, you know what, have a, have a fireball ring. And have a channeling stuff. Do that. And we'll give you some bits and pieces. Raise dead cost. Yeah. Magic item drop chance. Sure. Restless spirit. Yeah. Student. Have a student. Everyone gets a student. Find me that does mean we need one less unit in our army. Um, that's fine. Agent 47 is going to have... No, he's going to have the Curse of Undeath. That's what he's going to have. And we're going to get Frida and put her in the army as well. I'm trying to think who I can get rid of. I might... Mm. I might just get rid of, get rid of one of these skeletons, maybe. Do something like that. Yeah, that probably makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, Kemal Kem can move up next turn. We can get him in the army. We can do his quest battle. That'd be good. Number six is going to. I mean, there's not many people to kill around here, but there is. Look at this. There's a big. There's a party going on in Athel Loren. Uh, we've got. Who's this guy? We've got PT. We've got Luren. There's Catherine the Slasher. Pete the Bright, it's, it's Evelyn. I mean, it's it's very much a big old party going on. Apparently, I haven't been invited. That's very rude. Uh, I guess we're going to get Agent Forty Seven to go and crash the party, assuming the party stays around for that long. I think I think the party might break up quite rapidly as people get very tired and fall over from stab wounds. Probably, I think there might be a lot of stabbing going on there. Could upgrade this. Probably don't want to. Could upgrade that. Mm. It's not really vitally important. I might... S you know what? I'm going to save my pennies. Bring me flesh to Although, if we got anyone around... Oh, there's, there's an agent down there. It is I thought there'd be more people wandering around, but it's very... It's actually being... It's, it's very difficult to find someone to stab around, Ulf one. Didn't think I'd have a problem. But uh, there we go. Is that Tyrion? There was only nope, that's Aleth. I will not betray you. Let's go and see if we can stab some of Aleth's friends. Not one on oh, he's got a lot of friends. The problem is they're marching and they can march faster than an agent can move. Pain in the ass. Okay, Jack, you're going to sit there. Settlement upgrade. No, we're going to save our pennies, as I said. No, no, no. Fey Enchantress. Yes, you can come down here. In fact, I might send you on the expedition because then you can smash down walls. I feel like smashing down walls quite useful did mean to do stuff with bernard completely forgot never mind not the end of the world
Uh, looks like the alcohol are dead. Or, you know, most of their coastal settlements are gone. Same thing, really. Count Noctilus is picking up yet more necrofexes. Yeah, that party has well and truly broken up. Everyone's going home. Apparently, it's, uh, it's a shame. Agent 47 is going to turn up. The party's already finished. Yet again. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Excuse the tomb breath. Don't worry, he's probably got worse breath. Uh, Manfred, you want military access and you're going to... Yeah, all right, I'll take your money. It's fine by me. I need to get a Banshee and put it in Bernard's army and call it Fran. And I wanted to get a hairy necromancer, but I don't think any of the, the hero necromancers are hairy. I think they either wear skulls or they look like Agent 47. I think that's pretty much it. Which is a shame, because I wanted to get a hairy, hairy necromancer and call him Manny. I might just get a necromancer and call him Manny. Maybe just do that. Maybe, maybe we get, maybe we get, uh, oh god, what's his name? Not Agent 47, the other one. Number six, get number six, rename him to, rename him to Manny, because he's now got a lodestone thing, so that'd be good. Maybe do that. Okay, they've got the Libra Necromonica. Excellent. Reduces attrition from untainted by 20%, but considering we're immune, doesn't actually have any effect. Let's get the incantations of Ushron. And I would like, can we... Oh, hello. That's fine. We can steal technology, but we're not going to be stealing technology. We're going to be stabbing people. That's a 57% chance. What else we got? Uh, 53, 56, 58, 56, 60. 60. Who shall we destroy? Stab. Good job. Nice work. Oh, we've got lots of agents around here. What's this one? 58. Stab. Another success. Right in front of that Dark Elf Assassin. That's got to be insulting, isn't it? You're like, you know, trained from birth to be the, the deadliest assassin in the Warhammer world. And uh, some old guy in a robe runs up, just smacks your target around the face with his staff and runs off cackling to himself. You've really got to look yourself long and hard in the mirror after that happens to you. Your wish, master. Uh, we can just assault. Not probably going to... Oh, I could start. Still tech? Still tech. Be as dust. Failed. Rubbish. Okay. Let's get Kemla over here. Right. Jack. We're going to trade these guys and pull these guys out. Let's do something like that. And then we pop Frida in the army. And there we go. We've got the Chaos Tomb Blade next one, so that's, uh, that's good. Raid the following region, Karak Buftar. Heinrich Kemmler's mind restored, surveys this silent group of armoured whites arrayed before him. He raises his eyes to the distant mountain peaks, which he wandered for so long during his madness. Some impulse draws him back there. Possibly it is the last visage of his once mad, of the once mad. But his days of plundering wizards' towers and temples in his search for dark truths have taught him to trust his instincts. Some source of power lies in those peaks and Kemmler intends to find it. Okay, we need to raid this. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. We have to go through Athol Wren. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. But first, we're going to go down and do this. Uh, we might... Could we teleport? Is that worth it? It would cost us... I, I don't think it's worth it. Just don't think it's worth it. I think instead, what we're going to do is we need another. Let's get a forbid. Hmm. 
got a forbidden library there. Let's... We do have to upgrade that one anyway. Mm, it's going to be behind in growth. Okay, let, let's get the, the... Let's get the forbidden library here. Because growth is already... So, yeah, we just need 17 turns. We could build a dark castle. Mind you, the growth is better there. Okay, we're going to wait. I'm going to build it at Corone because the growth is better here. So I think it's actually going to hit... Um, well, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think what will grow fastest. I, th I think this one will. So let's... Okay, let's build it there. Let's do that. Bernard, we're going to go on another little trip. But I don't know where we're going to... Oh, there's lots of stuff up here. So let's go up here. I mean, hopefully your army is good enough to pull it off. We'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. So, I don't know whether to leave Stuart there or pull him back. I don't know what I want to do with Stuart at the moment. I think maybe he's just defensive. If we can get some more money... Because I need those Necromancer Towers, and they're quite expensive. They're going to be 15k each, and also I need a max level city. So, we're looking at... Sort of 45,000... To get what we need. But first, before we go on our expedition, we're going to get Kemler's stuff. So that's the next. Next step is get Kemler's stuff, get some cash, get the expedition heading south, because it's going to take a while to get down there. And while we're down there, we're going to be far away from our own territory. So it's not going to be much support. Uh, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll jump in on Kislev. Vlad is mopping up the last last defenders of the Empire, which is good. Okay, Hockland is dead. Construct the Bale Fire. Uh, where did we construct the Bale? Corone. Okay, yeah. Like two turns and we will... Uh, yeah, I need to upgrade that to max level anyway, don't I? Hmm, okay. And I also need to upgrade Altdorf because then we can get the Altdorf College of Forbidden Magic or Super Evil Hogwarts. That's a thing. Okay, money-wise, looking pretty good. Not the best, but not the worst. And we're going to go down and do the Skull Staff quest. Okay, so we've got some Bretonians. Oh, we haven't fought Bretonians in a while, mostly because we killed them all, but there we go. Uh, that's a stupid looking hat. Two, two, two twins wearing stupid looking hats. Pierre and Zachary de Lyonnais. With stupid faces and stupid hats. So we're going to kill them and get my Skull Staff, but... That is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me in the next episode of Heinrich Kemmler.